Yeah, so I, I guess the, my initial reaction was excitement, and um, I thought that bringing a story like this to the Adirondacks and to the North Country was timely and important, kind of given the, the, the tensions that are in our country today. And just to give the opportunities for people in the North Country to know that um, the North Country was among one of the earliest um, cities and region to be embracing and accepting of um, people of color, and particularly African Americans. If my memory serves me correctly, in the 1800s, African Americans came here be because of um, what the North Country had done and because of the work of people like John Brown and so bringing this story to this region and um, giving them an opportunity to see the important impact this region had on kind of getting emancipated slaves acclimated to, um, to this region, but just acclimated to being free in the United States was an important, was an incredibly important story that needs to be told, and I'm, I'm glad it was told here. Um, I did not know that I was going to be the narrator until um, um, late in the process. Um, I knew that this was happening, and there were uh, there are there were two faculty members from North, from Postmas College who's part of the the production, and um, my plan was to take a lot of students there, which we ended up did take a lot of students there. But that was just my plan, to take students and to be part of the audience and just to enjoy the experience. And then late in the game, I was asked if I would narrate, um, be the narrator. And I was honored and, and thrilled to do it because it's an important story that the opportunity to be a part of it was just, just great. First of all, um, there aren't many African Americans here today. Um, and. And it's unfortunate that um, sometimes when you, when people describe this region, they describe it in a in a way that suggests that it's not ex um, accepting of of difference, um, and it's not true because from the very beginning, this region has been um, a region that's open to people of all kinds of makeup and and life and. Uh, and so an opportunity to, to bring the, the opera here and to, to share with the region the important role that they played in kind of the making of the history of the United States was phenomenal and important and to be a part of it was just absolutely great. Um, it gave them an opportunity to learn about their history. I mean, the African-Americans uh, the African-American experience is part of the American history. Um, and for a lot of uh, students, regardless of where you go to school, um, you might get a week or a month of African-American history. And African-Americans played such a significant role in the building of this nation, in the shaping of this nation, in the culture of this nation, so giving them an opportunity to learn about just a tiny piece of the history was just phenomenal. And our students are open to that um, anyway. And, and so um, many of our students were really excited about going and participating and being a part of this. Not only did our students go as just observers, but they, they, they were also part of the cast and part of the orchestra. So. It was just an all-around wonderful experience for everyone involved, and this is a great way to introduce um, all of our students to an important part of our, our American history. Music is it, music brings people together, and so using this particular genre of music um, to tell this important story was a brilliant move, and I think it, it uh, hit a home run. I don't know that it was a surprise because, I mean, they, cer they certainly knew it was coming. The content of it um, was eye-opening because although um, they know about John Brown, who has a farm close by, John Brown was an abolitionist, they knew about John Brown, at least some of them know about John Brown, 
Um, you know, I don't know how many people knew of the history of this region opening its doors and its arms to people who were fleeing the South. And that there were people here who were intentional about inviting African Americans to move to the to Northeast to begin their lives and to, to access the American dream and to be a part of um, this nation, to gain land, because this whole thing was about giving them land so they could have the right to vote. A right that should be every citizen's, you shouldn't have to fight for it. But many of us had to. Many of our, our fellow citizens had to. And so uh, the folks in the Adirondack who said, come, we will give you land so that you can earn your right to vote and participate fully as a citizen was ingenious. And I just don't know that many of our citizens in, this in, in many of the communities around here know of, that, of this important story. And so, and it's such an uplifting sto story, right? It's, it's not a story where you walk into it or it's not a, it's not a, it's not something that you walk into it and you f you're gonna need to feel defensive. Because talking about some of these issues sometimes can be hard. They're complex, complicated in issues. And um, people are, you know, their defenses are sometimes up when they talk about issues of diversity or African-American. But this was a way for us to come together through music to talk about our history in a way that was not threatening to anyone. Um, and I, I think that was a fabulous idea. Traditional songs, I think, gives you a sense of the period and the time. So I think that was lovely, and it was really well done. The, the performers who performed it, they were, just had beautiful voices. Um, and, and, um, and just bringing us back to that time period was refreshing and, and enlightening. And then using, con using kind of contemporary kind of music, um, the mixture was appropriate. And it, it also um, perhaps helped our younger population be engaged. Because sometimes um, older music might not be kind of fun or interesting for younger people. So mixing it up with kind of um, historical and music from that time and more contemporary stuff is a good, good mixture that engages the entire audience.